I'm Tom Lovedahl, 65 years old, and about a year and a half ago I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And when you hear something like that, it's not a very good sign, you know, when you hear Parkinson's, to me, it's almost like a sentence, you know, because if you read the literature on Parkinson's, there's not much hope in it, you know, it, it's like, you know, they, they use, in fact, every article you read says Parkinson's is a progressive degenerative disease, you know. You take that combination, progressive degenerative disease, there's like no hope in it, you know. So I started taking some medication. I didn't like the medication. It made, made my heart restless. I couldn't sleep well. So I stopped the medication, and just by luck, I went online. I found a site called, it's called Fighting Parkinson's Without Drugs. If you look at Chinese philosophy, they say that Parkinson's is really like a, 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 an energy imbalance. You know, it's, they use the term qi, which is like qi is like the universal energy flow. We're standing right here now, we're in the, the flow of qi of this whole world. You know, the sound of these birds and the frogs and the wind and the feel of the sunlight, that's all qi, that all produces energy. They say in, in his philosophy, which I like, is it really, you need to embrace Parkinson. It's sort of like the ultimate wake-up call that, you know, uh, I've really been living my life in a, in a chi depleting or energy depleting way for many, many years. And it's time to, to rebalance, you know. I think that's the, the key issue there, the key, key point. Lin Bao Chi Ji Jo Lin Ba Lin Jiao Chi Ji Jo R R S S Lin Bao Chi Ji Jo Lin Ba Lin Jiao Chi Ji Jo R R S S and on and on. You do that for like five minutes or so too, and you feel the energy raise. So all this it, it tends to give me hope, you know. I think it's a, it's, it's a positive. When, when you look at the mainstream approach, people take these drugs that are pretty intense, and but I see them taking more and more medication on tighter and tighter time intervals so they'll max out the doses of these medications and, and they'll basically control the symptoms but there's like no hope of a cure and no rever reversal of those symptoms. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. And then when they get to a certain point the medications don't work they do this stuff called deep brain stimulation which involves drilling a hole in your head while you're conscious, putting electrodes into your brain, putting wires into your body, and putting like a little battery pack into your chest like a pacemaker. And that will control pulses to the dopamine producing region of the brain. And it works, it keeps people going, but it's something that if I could avoid, I'd rather avoid, you know. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I have a hole drill in my head and I have to feel the <laughs> Be a little careful, it's a little slippery right here. I feel I, one of the things I learned about the running, I actually read some an article about this, but running, if you don't really overdo it, it produces dopamine. It makes you feel good. It produces dopamine and serotonin, all those good things. I find if I run every morning a little bit, I get that little bit of charge of dopamine that holds me through most of the day. It makes me feel really good. That's why I like to run. So this particular series of exercises, uh, I feel like I'm holding my own. Some fronts I'm losing a tiny bit of ground, some fronts I'm gaining a little bit of ground. Overall, it gives me hope that you know there's a way to get through this without medic without heavy-duty medication.